Yes, yeah, thank you, Dan. Good morning. It is this one from our weather watcher in London, Twickenham. This is off. Beautiful. A lot of cloud around in London this morning. Let's compare this to what's happening in Wales. Colwyn Bay, lovely and sunny. The temperature's starting to pick up. Now, for most of us, this morning, it is going to be mainly dry. In fact, you could replace this morning with today. There are, however, though, some showers and some rain coming in in this bank of cloud across parts of the southeast. But that's where you can see where we've got some cloud. Now the sun's up, it's starting to melt away in the north. So here's where we'll see the lion's share of the sunshine. Whereas in the south, we have got a bit more cloud. The breeze will be picking up. The showers, well, breaking up as well as we go through the course of the day. But look how that cloud advances over in the direction of Wales and southwest England. So by the time we get to the middle of the afternoon, there will still be some sunshine across northwest Wales, but the cloud will have built across the rest of Wales. For Northern Ireland, after a chilly start, the sun comes out, it's up already, and of course it will remain with us through the course of the day, as it will across Scotland. Yesterday, Achnagart hit 21 Celsius, making it the warmest day this year so far in Scotland. Temperatures down just a notch on that today. For Northern England, beautiful afternoon, beautiful morning for you as well. And then as we slip down into the Midlands, East Anglia, Essex and Kent, we're back under this cloud, back under some patchy rain and a few showers. The showers fairly hit and miss, but the cloud building as we head towards the southwest. Again, you could see the odd shower, but there'll equally be some brightness. Now, through the evening and overnight, we hang on to the keen breeze. We hang on to all this cloud. Again, some showers dotted around. Clear skies across Scotland and also Northern Ireland means that here, quite quickly, the temperature will drop low enough in some sheltered areas for a touch of frost, rather like the morning just gone, actually. And then as we head on through tomorrow, we'll hang on to the sunshine across much of Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, North Wales. A bit more cloud, though, across southern counties. But with this keen breeze, it will break up some of that cloud, so we will see some brightness. But equally, the cloud will be thick enough for the odd shower. And light today, if you're wandering down this east coast, it will feel cold if you're exposed to the northeasterly wind. Then as we move into Friday, the south hanging on to the cloud again, still quite breezy, still coming from a chilly direction. Move further north, we're back into sunnier skies. So the lower temperatures are always going to be in the east. We're looking at 10 to about 12. Higher temperatures as we drift further west, particularly so if you are in the sunshine. As we move from Friday into Saturday, you can see there is a weather front not too far away from the southwest. That might not be its exact positioning. It could move away. But a lot of dry weather for much of the UK this weekend. As high pressure drifts towards Iceland, though, the wind direction will change to more of a northeasterly. So that's a chilly direction for us. So it will still be pretty cool. So no heatwave in prospect, Dan and Lou.